objective of the Tuvalu Coastal Adaptation Project is to increase the resilience of vulnerable communities against wave-induced damages on Funafuti, Nanumea and Nanumanga. We have over the last uh, three, four decades attempted to install the usual conventional seawall protection measures which haven't worked for us and have been washed away every time a cyclone hits us. Seawalls are expensive and can cause increased coastal erosion in areas adjacent to where the seawalls are. Many seawalls in Tuvalu, the Gabin baskets, concrete blocks have failed miserably in Tuvalu, creating more problems than offering solutions that they were meant to solve. These barriers are designed to enhance the natural coastal protection with minimum impact on the environment, unlike common engineered coastal protection solutions such as seawalls. It's very important for Tuvalu to have this TCAP project implemented as a initial trial and demonstration that uh, this type of coastal protection measure is best adapted and suited uh, to our conditions. The main challenge in developing effective coastal protection solutions for a natural country like Tuvalu is obtaining accurate, reliable biophysical data to design effective coastal protection solutions. The most innovative part of the project is integrating modern technology, modern science and traditional knowledge to ensure that the intervention is the most environmentally friendly and socially acceptable intervention for the local communities. SPC then used this high quality baseline data collected through LIDAR and other biophysical data obtained on the ground to generate computer modeling which were then used together with information gathered through community consultations which has helped our engineers to support the design of these coastal protection measures. Public consultations are very important as the design needs to meet the needs of the local community who understand their environment better than anyone else. The main lesson that we have learned is that we should never leave the community out from any project designs and to get them involved right from the beginning. The project was implemented with the hope of improving the lives of local communities. Thus, projects should be designed by both the communities and donors. It is our uh, hope and expectation that the TCAP project would provide us with a more lasting and permanent methodology to prevent our four shores from being eroded and our land being taken away because of the impact of climate change and the storm surges and sea level rise. We hope that these innovative designs would provide a platform and an example for replicating those types of design for the rest of the country.